Hey everybody, it's your boy AG and literally 10 seconds or so after ending the recording for the last episode, I'm here again recording the next one because I can't, I'm sorry, I just can't wait until the next recording session to see part two of this little one two part or, or whatever. But quick cliff notes on what happened last episode. Aang went to the spirit world to save Sokka from Hei by a spirit that was attacking a village and abducting people. And through that, he met Avatar Roku's animal guide, which then guided him into the Fire Nation to see a statue of Roku that is supposed to teach him something if he goes there on the Winter Solstice, which is the next in-show day. And when he went to the spirit world, he saw a premonition, vision, or whatever you want to call it, of a comet. If you ask me, I thought the mission was pretty cut and dry. I'm pretty sure I said this during the last reaction too, you know. Learn the elements, help people defeat the firework. But now we have this comet thing. And I like the theory craft. I, I like thinking of things, you know, things that could happen, things that I, I wish would happen. But for this one, I am stumped because, like I said, I thought the mission was simple. I thought the story was simple. Well, not simple, but, you know, I thought we had our our things set and then, you know, everything was building up to that, which is, which I thought would be the climax between, you know, Aang and the Fire Lord, you know, seems like what we're building up to, right? But now we got this, uh, this comet thing and... It seems rather important because this is a this is like the first one two part of the series besides the first episode, so I'm pretty sure this is an important episode. And with the amount of information that they dropped, it kind of just you know enhances that idea. Yeah, I have no clue what the hell this this uh this comet could mean. The only thing that I came up with is like maybe a powerful firebender. Like I would assume the Fire Lord can make comets because you know comets are hot. Firebenders. <laughs> That's all I got for y'all. Oh shit, I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, like that's why I just can't wait to record this in like the next recording session that I usually schedule. So I gotta watch this right now. So excuse me if my pre-episode ramble is a little short this time. I just really wanna know what the hell is going on. Also, can't forget, we know that uh Iroh, we got a lot a lot about Iroh last episode, which was kind of unexpected. We learned that he lays siege to a place with a with a bee. Freaking Ba something. I think it, no, I'm thinking of I'm thinking of Hey Bai. Jesus Christ. But I think it was a city with a bee or some shit like that. He lays siege to it for six hundred days? Like I was thinking like it seems out of character for him. Yeah, he's on like the enemy team, like Fire Nation. But you can't assume that everybody in the Fire Nation is a bad person just because, you know, the higher-ups are setting up a war for it. But yeah, it seems out of character for him, but I don't know, maybe not. Because now that I think about it, we don't know a lot about him, but we we know how he acts. And I don't know, him laying siege to a place for 600 days seems, I don't know, it just seems out of character for me. With how chill and, like, comic reliefy he is. But we know he's not no slouch in a fight. We saw that last episode, and I kind of assumed that from just from the vibe I was getting from him. But yeah, and on top of all of that that we learned about him, we also saw that he could see Aang in the spirit world, which was a what the fuck moment in itself. It was just like, huh? Excuse me? <laughs> but yeah, it seems like these episodes are pretty much setting seeds for maybe what's to come the rest of the season because I don't know man there's a one and two part and we got some details like my lord but without further ado we must continue this uh well <laughs> can't even do goofy headset engage because the goofy headset's already engaged so let's just dive right into it man I don't got the energy to do it this time. <laughs> Alright, chapter 8, Avatar Roku. Once it's also part 2. Oh, come on, break this man trying to leave him? Look, I'm sorry, but Katara and Sokka aren't coming to the Fire Nation with us. If they got hurt, I'd never forgive myself. Understandable, but... How do you think they would feel if you just never came back, you know? And then you left without even telling them. 
Hey, you can't leave Shorty. Come on, man. <laughs> we got your back. Let's get it. Teamwork. No! Alright. <laughs> You'll have to fly fast to have oh, we some supposed to have some snacks, some sticks. Good luck. Snacks and stacks. <laughs> Boys say go. Having trouble Oh no. Nah. Relax. What what if you never seen him, huh? You just pushed him for no reason. Mad aggressive. This is Yazuko? <laughs> <He's not. laughs> yeah, so how far is this? Cause that, that dragon last episode looked like a speed and, and that boat is going really fucking fast for how it looks. My god. <laughs> of all the foolish things you've done in your sixteen years, Prince Zuko. Oh that boy's sixteen. Foolish. I have no choice, Uncle. Oh yeah, he's banished. Okay. So confirmation that his dad was the one to like get him out of there. I thought that maybe it was like a council decision or something for what he whatever he did. we got trouble. Can't you make Appa go any faster? Yeah, but there's just one little problem. A blockade. A what now? That was a good shot though. <laughs> Technically you were still in Earth Kingdom waters. Turn back now and they cannot arrest you. If we fly north, we can go around the Damn, his banishment's like that. I mean, the, I guess that's how banishments work, I guess. This is exactly why I didn't want you to come. It's too dangerous. Shit. Exactly why we're here. Let's run this blockade. Appa, you, get you think they all got cattle pearls, or? Because it's like, what could they do if you're that high? I guess shoot some fireballs. There's nothing I can do. Do not follow the avatar. Okay, so Uncle's not banished too. Run the blockade! Oh shit. Oh suck it now. Oh suck it, suck it. Banished Prince. This must be my lucky day. They got you working the blockade? Talk about a demotion. But there's a fire navy ship out there, sir. One of our own. What if it's hit? So be it. It belongs to a traitor. He's still salty about the breakdance move. Hey, okay, Appa. All right, Appa's carrying right now. Appa's ca oh shit, hold on. Now. Yeah, 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 get that shit off. Get that shit off. Are you okay? My boy, big Appa. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all going through it right now. I mean, maybe he can go through and hijack one of the other ships. Hold on. Oof. Yo, could you imagine how scary this would be, bro? <laughs> no. Hey, yeah, 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 no, 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 My man. <laughs> Yo, this whole sequence is amazing, bro. Ready? And this is just the start of the episode. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Yo! Sick as that. He's done. Yo. <laughs> nah. Nah. We made it. Okay. We got into the Fire Nation. Great. So like, you think the Avatar is headed, sir? A Aang is like 12 years old, bro, and he is fully nasty, bro. From the beginning of this series to this point, boy, like, like who's handling Aang, bro? Cause he technically beat Boomy too, right? Not, no, it was kind of a draw, but like. Like, I want to see this Fire Lord now, like... Can we just go to him? Because Aang might fold him, bro. Aang might fold him, bro. <laughs> Aang is... Aang's nasty. And interesting that he let him through. Damn, hold on, this, this episode is good, bro. This... Whew, <laughs> it got my energy up and I'm tired. The island where Roku's dragon took me. 
Oh, Looks like a question, Mom. Get it, buddy. Hey, get your calisthenics up, Sokka. Let's get it. Oh, you must be tired. No! Ugh, I'm good. Refreshed and ready to fight some <laughs> firebenders. I was talking to Appa. Yeah, we, we need to get Appa. I, to I don't know, some hay. Is, is that what he eats? I don't know. <laughs> Can I have boy some berries or something? He went through it today. Mm. Katara, smart as shit. <laughs> I never would have put that together. I think I heard something. We are the fire Alright, so it wasn't abandoned. Guardians. I was just about to say, like, the floor's looking kind of clean, bro. Great. Like, they was polished yesterday. We know. Okay. My boy, Aang, bruh. Aang, bruh. <laughs> the Avatar contacts Roku. There's no telling how powerful the boy will become. <laughs> we ain't going that way. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Like, you're chasing them, bro. I don't want to fight you. Oh, I was just about to say, I was like. Firebenders aren't our friends. My boy, Aang, is ready to square up. to speak to Avatar Roku. That's fire. Yo. This, way. <laughs> this, this show is cool, dude. That boy leaving a whole ass smoke screen. Why didn't Commander Zhao arrest me? Because he wants to Cause he's a whole bozo. Don't don't we, we don't need him. Yeah, y'all think I forgot that he tried to ambush that boy Zuko when he won the fight? <laughs> Shao still a bozo. Once a bozo, always a bozo. No. <laughs> mm. Okay. Generations of fire sages guarded this temple long before me. The fire sages. Strong spiritual connection to this place. Is that how you knew I was coming? Hmm. Theory. Amazing thing occurred. The statue of Avatar Roku. Its eyes began to glow. Oh, that that that. Those are the people that we saw. Uh, let the fire lord immediately the avatar is still alive or whatever <laughs> all right quick theory Iro was a fire sage that's how he could have saw Aang in the spirit world because they said they have a spiritual connection to the avatar when I learned you were coming I knew I would have to betray the other sages I just wanted to get that out there before I forgot <laughs> yeah I'm not gonna lie though the fire nation like architect Ar no. <laughs> architecture and like motifs are kind of clean like I'd live in the fire nation if everything looked like this like you opened that other door no why not a fully realized avatar is powerful enough to open this door alone five simultaneous fire blasts five five fire blasts huh I think I can help you out uncle keep heading north Zhao will follow the smoke trail while I use it as a cover. That's smart. Seal the lamp oil inside an animal skin casing. Shayu lights the oil soaked twine and. Ta da! Fake fire bending. You've really outdone yourself. Okay. This might Yo, Katara and Sokka, they, they kind of smart, bro. They kind of. The intelligent. So as soon as they go off, you rush in. But what if it's like the air temple where it needs like a stream of fire? Cause when Aang did it, like, he did like a stream of air, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess they could capture the- Hey, relax. I mean, can, can we like capture the other sages? And like, force them? Even though he's a pacifist? You're a genius! Right. Sokka's plan didn't work. But it looks like it did. Oh. Where are we going with this? <laughs> oh, it looks like he's already in. Okay. But look at the scorch marks. And down there. And he playing this shit. Hmm. 
That is so dope. <laughs> Ooh! You put him in the arm bar? What's going on? Oh, ooh, reverse. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close the doors. <laughs> Quickly. I like how they reverse all that. Yeah, you thought, Zuko. You really thought. <laughs> Nasty. Alright. Like, don't spoil it for me, but, like, at this point, like, Aang can fold most of the people in this show, right? Like, cause I'm dead serious, like, he's too nasty, bro. So why isn't is the Fire Lord, like, crazy? Don't spoil though. You know, forget I said anything. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, bro. This Aang, Aang is crazy, bro. <laughs> Neat. What took you so long? I gotta hear this man talk again. Why did you help the Avatar? Because it was once the sage's duty. It is still our duty. Talk your shit. Oh my god. Moving and heartfelt performance. Everybody's here. I'm certain the Fire Lord will understand. Yo, can Mike will me come through and just like fold everybody and help everybody out? Fire Lord will be pleased. Oh, you're too late, Zhao. The Avatar's inside and the doors are sealed. No matter. Sooner or later, he has to come out. I sent my dragon to find you. Th it's this nothing. show has some, like, recognizable voices, but I just, like, I can't put a name to it. Fire Lord Sozin used that comet to begin the war. He Fire Lord Sosa. and his firebending army harnessed its incredible power and dealt a deadly first strike against the other nations. So the comet made them stronger? Yes, stronger than you could even imagine. But that happened a hundred years ago. What does the comet have to do with the war now? Listen carefully. Sozin's comet will return by the end of this summer. Is that Sozin? And Fire Lord Ozai will use its power. Oh, that's o Ozai. Once and for all. If he you can breathe fire through his mouth. Even the Avatar will oh, be he, 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 balance to the world. He might be nasty. He might. I guess. The Fire Lord before the comet arrives. But I haven't even started learning water bending. Not to mention earth and fire. Mastering the elements takes years of discipline and practice. And you only go until next if summer? The world is to survive. You must do it by summer's end. By summer's end, bruh. I'm not even in the show and I'm getting stressed. Wait. What if I can't master all the elements in time? What if I fail? I know you can do it, Aang. Eh? For you have done it before. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Because reincarnation, okay. Ways for now. But I won't be able to come back to the temple. What if I have questions? How will I talk to you? Other temples? I'm a part of you. When you need to talk to me again, you will find a way. I can help you face the threat, but only if you are ready. I'm ready. <laughs> that was fire how the voice doubled. I got, I got like a little bit of goosebumps when that happened. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> That's fire. Woo! He could transform into other avatars? Oh, that boy is out. <laughs> Zuko flexed. My boy is summoning lava. That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> I 
Okay. All right. So when he masters that glowy thing, I'm pretty sure he could probably just like transform into other avatars, huh? Because that would be fire. So maybe that glowy power has different states or like levels. Like one that's a power boost and maybe one that transforms him into uh, other avatars that he meets. Yo, I mean, they deserve it, but come on, Jal. He was like, damn, I got two L's. I need a W. <laughs> he said, well, I mean, two L's make a W. <laughs> Let me stop, bro. This man, Zhao, is a clown. <laughs> Whole clown. Entire circus. All right, group hugs. That's a, that's a good shot, though. All right. I'm gonna have to think about my rankings for episodes because th this episode was, yo. All right, let me let me let me take this off, bro, because we got to talk, and I'm tired, but we got to talk, because now we're we're on a timer, basically, right? After what this episode tells us is that Aang is on a timer. So the comment. <laughs> I mean, let me try to get this right now. Let me. I'm sure you guys would be in the comments and tell me if, if I miss anything or if I am flubbing any information, but th this is what I got here. Aang, original mission, learn the, the elements, beat the Fire Lord. Still is the mission, but now there's a caveat. Back, I guess, 100 years, because I guess that's when Aang was in the iceberg, the Fire Lord before Ozai, Fire Lord Sun, Zin, Sun Tzu? No, Sun Tzu, some, that's, that's a real person. Sozin. Fire Lord Sozin. He didn't make a comet, but a comet was coming through. And somehow the fire... Yeah, the firebenders got a power boost from the comet. And that's how they started... Because I've been saying this from the start. I was like, it doesn't make no sense. How, how are they being everyone? Like... They beat the Earth Kingdom, they wiped out the Air Nomads, and I guess, you know, Water Tribe. They're doing Water Tribe stuff, but I'm pretty sure they got them on lock too. It doesn't make no sense, but now it makes sense because this Comet thing. And it just makes so much fucking sense. Because I was wondering, it's like, there's no way this one nation, yeah, they look kind of big on the map, like in the intro map, but like the Earth Kingdom definitely looks bigger and, you know, plus the the air nomads and the the water the water tribe at the time like there was no way they were folding all of them but with this comet shit son <laughs> I guess Sozin harnessed that too and I'm sure Sozin was probably nasty Ozai is seeming to do the same thing to I guess end the war but now what what what, what I'm thinking about now is like Avatar Roku was the Avatar before Aang so he was actually maybe not See, I need, like, a calendar. I need, like, because I'm thinking 100 years back, but then 100 years back, Aang would still be technically alive. It would be before he went into the iceberg, but he wasn't in full Avatar duty mode. I guess he was still learning airbending. So I guess he couldn't do it. But the Fire Nation wasn't attacking them. It was after he went into the iceberg, so... The siege didn't start until after Aang left. Because everything looked peachy keen when Aang was training with Gyatso. It didn't seem like they were scared of a war or anything. So I'm guessing the war didn't start then. So I, I, Because I was thinking, I was like, what, what, why, if the comet happened, why, why didn't Sozin do anything? I mean, not Sozin, Roku do anything. But, of course, Roku had to die for Aang to be born. You know, it probably, it probably was Sozin, but Sozin must have been old as shit then. <laughs> Sozin must have been old as shit the time Aang was like 12. Like, actually 12. Back then. So he probably wasn't on the front lines because I'm, I'm thinking like the, the Fire Lord's probably on the front lines, but that's stupid because I guess they're like they're like technically a king. They wouldn't be on the front lines. But if all the Fire Nation had like power boosts, they could still lay siege. That That's where I was fucking up. I was like, I'm thinking like the Fire Lord's on the front lines or something commanding everybody, but no. But yeah, this, this, is, this is crazy. So now Aang has to learn all the elements before next summer? And it's the winter solstice, so he has what? Spring left? That's it? 
all he has like the rest of winter and spring and I, I think winter solstice is like what November December I think it's December I don't know they're probably not even using like real time like real <laughs> months and whatnot but so he's already he's pretty much a master of airbending from what it looks like and he doesn't have an airbending teacher so I'm guessing like he's the only one left so technically he's the master uh, water bending is a a negative weenus right now because <laughs> they're still on their way to the trap and like Roku said it takes years to master an element an element and he said you got until spring wait summer <laughs> what my g <laughs> yeah nah I would nah nah <laughs> I would have told Roku you're out your ass my g like what what I I don't see this happening like I I, I know I was saying that Aang is nasty bro but it, it depends it all depends on how how far the fire lord is because that that's that's what I'm guessing the climax of the series is gonna be. It's gonna be Aang versus the Fire Lord. Like it has to be. That's the main mission to end the war. Like it's not gonna end until that Fire Lord is dethroned. But if he's nasty, because I'm sure the Fire Lord has had years of firebending experience, he's definitely a master of firebending. Aang's a master I guess he doesn't technically have to master everything. He just needs to become proficient. And then he would because he's already a master of airbending, assuming. And all he has to do is like he just has to be able to be proficient in the other bending, and he might stand a chance against the Fire Lord. Uh, no, 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 no. I might be capping now, because I forgot about the Comet. He's gonna have the Comet boost if he doesn't become proficient in time. Shit, hold on, the pressure is on, bro. <laughs> because I, we don't know how much of a boost this Comet gives them, but if a Master Firebender gets the boost, I'm sure he's smoking a Master of any other element easy so i'm wondering what would a comet boosted like firebending master which i'm assuming ozai is be against an avatar that hasn't mastered everything so we gotta learn the four elements well three more elements before next summer or else the fire nation is gonna get it's not even just that he has to get it yeah before summer but he has to beat the fire lord before the comet starts it's like, and, that, and that's already iffy by itself. If, if assuming the Fire Nation's, the Fire Lord is nasty, like, and I'm sure like the Fire Lord's not just gonna step out into the Earth Kingdom. They're gonna have to infiltrate the Fire Nation. It's like, this episode really put the mission in perspective. Cause like, yeah, the whole time I was like, okay, learn the elements, mm -hmm, have fun, mm -hmm, save a couple people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, beat the Fire Lord. But after this, seeing how hard it was just to get a few I'm not gonna say a few I'm not gonna say a few meters into the Fire Nation but like it seems like the coastline of the Fire Nation they, they had blockades or anything it was that hard to get to the coastline and I'm sure the Fire Lord is like in the middle of the place how the hell like this episode really put into perspective this shit might be hard bro <laughs> like I, I don't even know like what I what I'm thinking is like Katara might have to become a master waterbender and then like I don't know we get Haru or something go to go to Boomy like Aang and Katara learn waterbending together Aang doesn't become a master but Katara gets becomes master we get Haru and then like we maybe that's why we're getting all these side characters we're probably gonna build up a side character for each like element and then like Aang has like a ragtime ragtag team of masters and then like I was saying in the last episode, he's not supposed to do it by himself. All four of them fight, like, the Fire Lord. Because I don't see Aang mastering every single element by Summer. Roku said it himself, it takes years. I just don't see it. So, uh, that's gonna be my big brain theory. Like, instead of Aang mastering everything, he's just gonna become proficient. But, he's gonna have a friend or, like, a, a ally that is a master. And then they're gonna jump the fuck out of the Fire Lord. <laughs> like, that's the only way I see it happening. But yeah, this episode was fire. Oh, I can't forget. Aang, I don't know if he learned it, but, but he could transform into different avatars. With that little avatar glowy thing. Like, I'm, I'm thinking it has different states or levels. Where, you know, level one is probably like that power. When he had like that emotional moment in, what, episode two? Episode three? Might have been episode three. 
And like maybe another level of it would be where he could like tap into the powers of his past life. And maybe like if he do, if he goes to different avatar temples, like maybe if he goes back to Kyoshi Island and I don't know if there's a temple there, but you know, maybe he prays in, in front of the statue or something. And maybe he could like talk to Kyoshi and Pai like, you know, I, I, you get like on some Mega Man type shit. <laughs> like he, he beats a boss or so, talks to a boss or whatever. And then like he gets the memories and maybe like the powers, but only for like a brief moment. I don't know. I'm spitballing here. I'm tired. But this shit, this, I can't, I can't wait to watch it again, bro. But I'm tired, yo. I, I think, I think, I think I get some sleep, cause man, oh man. I, I, I see the hype. I see the hype of this show. I see that. I see it. I see it, bro. I see, I see, I see Okay, you're an avatar. <laughs> like damn, bro. Shit was good, man. <laughs> but you already know the words. Drink plenty of water. Tell your loved ones that you love them. And please, stay golden, y'all. I gotta go take a nap. I'm gonna edit this whenever I, whenever I get the episodes out. <laughs> Whew. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.